guys. Uh, Frankie Ruiz here. Hope everyone's having a great time. Uh, we're, we're about to uh, get you guys started on the run with the community as part of WOW Pride, sponsored by T-Mobile. Joining us here today is uh, Kimmy B from Hits 97.3. Hey, Kimmy. Hey, Frankie. Fancy meeting you here again at a, you know, mind, body, social, wow, pride sponsored by T-Mobile virtual run. You're the only guy that can get me to run. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's been a while since I ran with you, but I know, you, I know you're keeping up with it. I know you're keeping up with it. But sure, uh, that's should, what we'll tell you. should people. be fun. <laughs> this should be a lot of fun. Uh, I, uh, we'll, we'll give everyone a little instruction here as to how, how you guys are to um, embark on your run. Uh, in the meantime, we want to introduce another guest um, with us today. Danny Del Delarco, you there? Yeah, what's up, coach? Uh, super excited to be running with you. Awesome, awesome, Danny. And uh, Danny is a Miami fitness instructor and, to my liking, a big time runner. So um, we're going we're oh, to get her tips along the way and learn a little bit about uh, uh, what, she, uh, what she does down here in South Florida and uh, Kimmy, Kimmy's gonna gonna cheer us on as we um, as we go on this run. That, so that is, go for it, go for it, Kimmy. What was that? I was gonna say that's the perfect that's the perfect role for me, uh, cheerleader, motivator. I'm feeling very outnumbered right now. I was on Danny's Instagram, and let me just tell you, impressive, impressive, impressive. But before we get started, I do want to thank everybody for being a part again of wow pride is sponsored by t-mobile and our virtual run your city uh run obviously frankie you are the guy in miami when it comes to running and i'm honored to be a part of this with you also we want to thank kettle one botanical for sponsoring this session much like us they believe in making things better creating marvelous experiences and of course leaving the world a slightly better place and we'll celebrate that with a virtual happy hour afterwards afterwards folks don't be like me we're going to have our happy hour after we do our run. Um, again, not so fast. Let's burn some calories first. Now, I do want to just let this be known. Uh, Kettle One Botanical is for those 21 and over only. Please drink responsibly. Kettle One Botanical made with vodka distilled with real botanicals and infused with natural flavors. 30% alcohol by volume. Copyright Double Eagle Brands. BV imported by Kettle One USA. Aliso Viejo, California. Back to mm. you, coach. Thank you, Kimmy. I, I wish I could. I wish I could speak as fast as. Uh, as, as uh, <laughs> I know. I'll try to run as fast impressive. as she talks. <laughs> Pretty cool. Um, yeah. So, all right, folks. Real quickly here, we, I want you guys to um, to get started on a on an easy warm up. Um, this will this will take about four or five minutes, and this warm up is just a warm up. Uh, what we call warm up paced uh, jog or or brisk walk. No, let's not even call it running yet. Let's just uh, stay on the, the jogging term. So nice and easy now. We'll, we'll do this for about uh, four or five minutes here. And, um, and, uh, and as you guys warm up, I'm sure Kimmy has a few, few good questions for Danny. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and start your warm up. I do. Well, first of all, Danny, thank you so much for partnering up again with Mind, Body, Social and Wow Pride. Uh, sponsored by T-Mobile for, for an incredible event. Like I said, I was on your Instagram and just such an impressive, impressive uh, woman obviously you know fitness is a huge part of life here in south florida but more importantly i think it's a huge part of life within the lgbtq plus community um and we wouldn't have the fitness community that we have without our lgbtq plus community so you know this is really a special time and i i love the way that our mind body social family is able to kind of interconnect the two and bring them to the forefront of the conversation um i know we gave a little bit of an introduction to you but you are so many things and you wear so many hats. I know uh, Frankie pointed out that you're a Miami fitness instructor. You're also quite the brand ambassador. Hello, Lululemon. If you have that connect, go ahead and slide it my way. Um, you're also <laughs> <laughs> um, an avid runner. I believe you're on uh, team Nike Miami. So if you want to just give our, our incredible uh, mind, body, social family, a little bit of backstory on you, how you got into uh, the fitness industry, I'm sure they would love to hear that. Yeah, so um, guys, I'm Danny. I am uh, Miami living right now. I moved down here from New York City. And, you know, the uh, fitness community is a, is a big reason why I fell in love with Miami and, you know, call myself a Miami resident now. Um, I was coming down here for graduate school, actually, and did a quick little uh, 180 pivot life in my career and realized that 
um, I had more to give to this community and that I could, I could touch people in a deeper way through, through the power of fitness and just really create an inclusive environment Mm -hmm. where people feel welcome. And, you know, that's one of the things that I absolutely love about running, running knows no size, no shape, no gender, no sexual orientation. You put on a pair of shoes, you lace them up, you hit the streets, you're a runner, you know, you, you wave by um, to people, you smile at people and it, it just builds such a strong community that you can show up as authentically as you uh, and feel welcome. And, and that's, that's rare these days to, have a sport that cultivates such a strong, strong community, especially down here in in South Florida, especially with what Frankie has done with the running community here. Um, Like you mentioned, brand ambassador uh, for for Lululemon. (laughs) I I work for uh, Echelon uh, Fitness. It's a digital um, fitness app. Uh, I teach on their treadmill, the Echelon Stride, leading guided runs to people across the U.S., um, probably one of my favorite things to do is not only be involved in in our Miami community, but to connect with, with others just across the, uh, across the U S and share that love of community and fitness with them. Well, first of all, also, Oh, I'm sorry. I I do have to say something. I do have to say something on, on her point here is she moved here before, you know, the, the, uh, the, the pandemic. And, and I think, uh, I got to give her a shout out for that. Not that I don't mind everyone that's moved in after, but she's a, (laughs) He's even more of a Miamian already, right? Um, I, I welcome everyone, but for that ma- that matter, I wanted to give her give her a shout out. Sorry, you had to say. No, something you're there. fine. I mean, that's the universe, <laughs> you know, telling you exactly where you belong. In case you had any thoughts of leaving, they were like, "No, nah, we're gonna lock you in here, uh, literally and figuratively." <laughs> they were like, "We're not letting you out of South Florida," and we're definitely happy to have you. I also wanted to congratulate you on your engagement. Again, I'm a little bit of a social media stalker, and it looks like. Uh, you proposed to your fiance not that long ago, maybe like the top of the year. Yes. At the end of January, um, my fiance and I, we, we got engaged. I, I popped the question, but I'm not going to lie. I don't think many words came out of my mouth. It was just uh, <laughs> a lot of staring and hoping and praying that a yes was going to come out of her mouth. <laughs> Well, the pictures speak a thousand words and clearly yes was her answer. Also, Danny, before I go any further, I do want to ask you, considering it is, you know, Wow Pride sponsored by T-Mobile, what are your pronouns? That way I don't, I don't confuse them moving forward in case I did already. No, of course she and her, those are, those are the pronouns that I go by. And I appreciate you asking. I think, you know, it's so important to do so. And, and something that, you know, Um, it just makes someone feel super welcome. If anyone who's listening wants to kind of engage as an ally in our, in that community, the simple question of what pronouns Mm -hmm. someone goes by goes a long way. No, for sure. uh, I just don't want to forget. I don't want us to forget about our runners. You guys that are out there running, you have about 30 seconds left. And then I want you to kind of slow down and come to a complete stop. So go ahead, Kimmy. (laughs) Now, the beauty of obviously, you know, Danny, if the, I don't know if you participated when we did Wow So Flow back in October, which was kind of like our kickoff event. And it was so incredible. Um, and, and so many people from all around South Florida and actually all around the country got to participate. Uh, but one of the beautiful things is while you're listening to this incredible conversation that we're going to have uh, for the next, you know, 30 minutes or so, uh, you can be running anywhere in this beautiful city of ours, obviously, right? So if you live Maybe in South Dade, you can be in Kendall or maybe in Pinecrest or in Coral Gables, or if you're, you know, on Miami Beach or maybe running over one of our beautiful causeways, shout out to anybody on Key Biscayne right now while they're getting their run on. Um, You know, if you live in that Midtown Design District area, maybe you live out West, shout out to Doral, shout out to our Broward County people that are going to be checking in, Um, obviously Palm Beach and anybody anywhere. Now you talked about uh, running, I believe you said with Echelon, so you get to do guided runs. Is that a part of of that, like kind of picking your path where you want to run at today, Danny? So Echelon's actually um, based, we, f- we film live classes uh, through oh. a studio up in uh, North Miami, but when I'm running outside, uh, I-, I live in the groves, so I'm, I'm running up yes. and down Bayshore. I got one of the most beautiful areas to run in in Miami and absolutely love living in the grove. Um, and you can't help but be inspired by how many runners uh, the grove gets daily. <laughs> yeah. You guys have the best yeah. trees ever. I love yeah, the grove. So- <laughs> That, that's that's home to me too um all right guys if you if you um hopefully already came to uh to an easy stop here 
Um, this is a good time to maybe drink a little bit if you've got a, a water bottle nearby. Um, you know, to, to Danny's point, make sure you've sort of charted out today's route uh, and, uh, and you know where you're going to be heading. Maybe you came back home or you came back to your car uh, for this particular run and make sure the doors are locked and uh, you kind of uh, tuck in that shirt, do whatever it is you need to do to tidy up a little bit here. And, uh, and we'll start with some, some uh, simple warm-up exercises just to continue uh, raising our heart rate and uh, loosen, loosening ourselves up a bit. Uh, I say you can, if you can go through about 10 easy childhood-like uh, jumping jacks, uh, you know, bring you back to when you were at uh, MP class and uh, follow that up um, with, um, with some forward and, and uh, reverse lunges. I'd, I'd leave the count up to you, but do about five in either direction with each leg. And uh, after you're done um, with that, uh, make sure those shoelaces are tied. And uh, we're going to get started with the 20 minute main segment of our run. And this, um, you know, this run won't be an all out run. It's what we would call a conversation pace. But mm. during, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot. And I, I know Kimmy likes that pace. Uh, so we'll, <laughs> we'll be <laughs> we'll be talking a bit as as you guys um you know, push through your, your run and, and uh, time's going to fly by. So uh, you should be wrapping up on those um, warm up exercises, give you another about 30 seconds or so. Um, and uh, those, uh, those lunges, don't make, make sure that knee doesn't pass the, the front of the toe, spring right back up and uh, do those in, in various directions. Make sure the ground is nice and flat around you. Um, and uh, yeah, so Kimmy, I'm gonna get them started. I'm gonna I'm gonna clear my watch out and make sure we don't lose track of them because I want them running about 20 minutes. And uh, and like we said, this is this is an easy run. This is a you know it could be your first run. Hopefully, it's the first of many. And and for those of you that that have been running for a while, let this be one of those maintenance uh, runs that uh, just continues moving your your fitness um, forward. So, in, in the 10 seconds, I want you guys to set out in the direction you will be. Uh, running in and uh, count you down three, two, one. All right. The main part of our run has started. You're going to be running about 10 minutes out. I'll remind you and you'll turn around and head back the same way you came, or maybe it's a loop, you know, that you're used to running. Uh, we're not running for mileage. We're not running for a specific pace right now. We are running to enjoy ourselves. We may have, I may pop in the pickup here and there if, if, if I can squeeze a word in uh, between Kimmy and, and Danny's interesting conversations. Uh, but uh, for the most part, I want you nice and steady and slow down uh, here on the onset. It's it's uh, take, take weather into account and, and your terrain. Cause I know you can be running anywhere for that matter. We're in South Florida, but you may be running somewhere where it's hilly. So take, take your time. So Kimmy, go for it. Keep, keep, uh, keep chatting with Danny cause time's passing by quickly and that, and a runner loves that. Right. I was, I was going <laughs> to Go say, for don't forget, we have happy hour at the end, folks. If you need a little extra motivation, happy all, hour always does it for me. Now, Danny, um, what was your, your introduction to fitness? Ha has this always been a part of your life? Were you, you know, were you a, an athlete when you were younger? And how does that become, you know, your career choice or, or your path? I know you mentioned your master's degree, so that's pretty impressive. Um, tell us a little bit about your story. Yeah, so I grew up in Silver Spring, Maryland, and I actually played ice hockey. So um, I grew up on skates and played ice hockey all the, from when I was, you know, about five years old all the way up until college. Um, wow. Had a quick uh, realization that I wasn't going to the Olympics, um, but wanted to make it to the, the collegiate level to kind of, you know, hang my hat on that. And, um, and after college, you know, fitness was just a, a, a huge part of my life, you know, staying mm -hmm. active, running. And I moved down to Miami for graduate school, like I mentioned. And, you know, I felt really lost. I moved here from New York City. And if anyone's, you know, ever lived in New York, to come down to Miami, it was a complete kind of shock to me in terms of what I was used to. I didn't have a car in New York. I was used to, you know, taking the subway everywhere and a bodega on every corner. And, you know, mm -hmm. I came down here and it was, it was so different. Um, but I kind of thought, you know, if there's, if there's one place where I know I could find a community it'd be within the fitness community. And so actually the first fitness class that I ever took 
in Miami was with Rachel Robinson over at Barry's. And, and I took that class and, and I said, you know what, I'm going to be just fine down here in Miami. I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to find a home down here. Um, and, and it's true. It's, you know, there's a lot of members of the LGBTQ community mm-hmm. who, um, who attend fitness classes. It's a supportive environment, it's a supportive community. And I, and I definitely felt that, that sense of community within, within the fitness uh, scene here. And, you know, my purpose and, and what I love is um, inspiring others just to be the best version of themselves, the most authentic version of themselves. You know, growing up, I went to Catholic school and, and, you know, I definitely lost a little bit of a sense of myself and feeling that I had to um, be, be a certain way and that Mm -hmm. my, my beliefs and my love interests maybe didn't align with others. And, you know, I am grateful for the fact that I did play ice hockey because um, the LGBT community is a huge component of women's ice hockey. And I kind of had that outlet of knowing that what I was feeling in my, in my high school um, years and my college years was completely acceptable and and totally okay. Um, And, you know, a big reason why I decided to, you know, leave my graduate school program and, and go into fitness was that I thought, through those means, I could really inspire people to know that they're not alone in their journey and, and that things do get better if they are struggling through that journey. That's what a, an incredible you know, story. I, I, I gotta, Go ahead, I gotta say, Danny, that that's, uh, you know, it's awesome that you found uh, Miami to be home and, and um, you know, the runners that are out there right now, you guys are, are celebrating um, that connection with not only Danny, but, but, uh, anyone in the fitness community that, that sort of has sweat alongside someone. And then he instantly felt like, you know what, this, this is home. This is, this is, this makes me feel, uh, together. Uh, maybe in this case, we're not, we're not, we're not all rubbing shoulders with each other in, in a, in a race or in a run club or whatnot, but we are connected through, through some of the stuff we're, we're passionate about. And, and hopefully today fitness and, 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 uh, and running, are um, at the forefront of that that connection. So, Danny, that, that's uh, it's pretty cool that you you got connected with Miami through through fitness real quickly, and that made you feel uh, part of part of the city. Folks, just a reminder: if you're out there, you're 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 pumping those arms. Don't forget to to be safe while you're crossing roads, and and uh, don't drift too much, uh, you know, uh, out of focus while you're listening to the conversation today. But I want to remind you guys. Uh, to um to pay attention to to your foot strikes your breathing don't um you know don't neglect um the the form here early on we tend to develop our bad habits as we get a little more tired so remind yourself through that um anyhow kimmy how you doing with your running (laughs) i'm doing fantastic in my mind let me tell you (laughs) i am a marathoner in my brain, not so much in my physical body. Um, You know, I was going to say to Danny, I was actually a figure skater. Uh, So we were, we were probably not happy with each other as far as ice conditions go, but I have the utmost respect uh, for your journey. And I was actually going to say to coach Frankie, you know, as a person who works so closely with so many people, obviously, you know, people come to fitness for many different reasons, but I feel like people come to running a lot of times to work through problems. I think we talked about that, you know, back in October, what does running mean to you? You know what I'm saying? And running is really, you know, whether it's my friends that, that, that are runners, I I do have a lot of friends that are runners. You know what I mean? It's, it's not contagious for some reason. I wish that it was. Um, but when they talk about their experience with running, it's always so therapeutic. And I I can't help but think, you know, as we sit here celebrating, you know, Miami Beach Pride, which unfortunately isn't happening the way that it normally happens, but that's why we're doing WOW Pride sponsored by T-Mobile to help benefit Miami Beach Pride because they touch so many lives. You know, I I can't help but think of all the people who have come to running from the LGBTQ plus community to work through things, you know, much like what you said, Danny, about your journey that started off in Catholic school, you know, um, our LGBTQ plus community is such an incredible community, but oftentimes faced with so much adversity. You know what I mean? That I would think finding your outlet and finding your way to really process what you're going through and deal with your emotions. Running is probably a great form of, of therapy for that, for you. Oh, hundred percent. I mean, you know, for, for me, I use running, you know, to celebrate the successes in my life, but also to help me work through those moments where 
where I start to question and I need to kind of untangle some of those thoughts in my mind. And, you know, you know, you can just kind of really tune in and tap into yourself. I, I like to say that, um, you know, I, I love running half marathons, but you learn a lot about yourself in uh, 13.1 miles and, and running is a great opportunity mm. to have that kind of conversation with yourself and check in with yourself and make sure you're aligning yourself with your goals and your beliefs. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. and you know, the, the, the running brings out more of who you are and, mm -hmm. and the more that you bring out who you are, the better you connect with people, right? Like, the connections that we have with folks when we're not 100% true to who who we really are, those connections don't last very long. The ones that, that matter um, tend to be um, the, 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 most, the most simplistic form of who we really are. And I think running and sweating and working out and fitness, hmm. you know, allows us to be, you know, who and, and, and say and, and, and do everything that is true to, to ourselves. So, um, running running certainly takes care of uh of a whole lot of uh of ills between people i think and 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 not just internally with themselves but between others um you know i i, I find it hard to to argue with someone when we're both running so um <laughs> you know so that's a, that's a good thing you know coach i was going to actually ask you seeing as you've been named the chief wellness officer for the city of miami um you know and and i think you just kind of touched on it a little bit caring for one's body physically has got to help with the mental as well. Yes. But you can't have one without the other. You can't be physically healthy if your mental health is, is flailing and you can't be mentally healthy if your physical health is flailing. Correct. I, I agree. And they go, they go, uh, you know, hand in hand, as, as they say, there's uh there's a lot, a lot that comes to, to a person's brain through exercise and, uh, and I, and, and, and a lot of good stuff comes through there. I mean, people are more creative, people are, are in better moods. Um, there's a, there's a bunch of things that, that make you, um, healthier mentally. And, uh, and then in the process, you make yourself physically healthy. And I think that's being responsible to, to, uh, the gift you were given, which was, which was a, a, a body. Uh, so no doubt, no doubt, especially now more than ever. I think we all have a responsibility to, um, to take care of ourselves um, so that we can better take care of one another, no doubt. Hey, guys, just uh, that was a great question, by the way, Kimmy B. Um, ten, it's about 10 minutes into it. I hope you found that turnaround point, um, whether it's, um, you know, the end of the block, maybe you want to go up to a certain pole or a certain, you know, business or whatnot, just pick that turnaround point because you're at about 10 minutes. I want you to turn around. Again, this isn't a rigid run. If you feel like going a little longer, that's on you. Um, but as your coach today and uh, as your team, the team behind you, you know, myself, Kimmy B and, and Danny, yeah! we are giving you permission to turn around. How's that? So uh, turn around and head back. You got about nine, 10 minutes left of this run. So Kimmy, let's keep that conversation going. Now, I do want to remind everybody too. again, I can't speak about Miami Beach Pride enough. You know, it feels like forever since we've been able to go to an incredible Pride Festival, right? I mean, Danny, I'm sure you can, you can relate with me on that, as can you, Coach Frankie. We haven't been able to do much of anything, and this would have been that time of year. Ultra would have been here. Miami Beach Pride would have been here. You know, it would have just been this beautiful kind of culmination of music and dance and a celebration of one of the most incredible in and impactful communities uh, in our South Florida community. And of course, I'm talking about our LGBTQ uh, plus community. So I do want to remind everybody that you can um, help benefit Miami Beach Pride by logging on to wowmbs.com forward slash pride. Uh, wow Pride sponsored by T-Mobile is a fundraising event for Miami Beach Pride because let me tell you something, honey, we will be back. We will be back and we will be bigger and better than ever. But the work that you know, Miami Beach Pride does throughout the year doesn't stop just because we're in the midst of a global pandemic. You know what I'm saying? There's programming, there's people, there's an entire community that needs resources. And that is, you know, essentially what Pride is all about. It's about raising awareness and also helping raise funds to continue, you know, furthering the cause in the case. And obviously Frankie and I are here as allies uh, to our LGBTQ plus community. I want to say thank you for allowing us to be a part of this. Thank you for allowing us to help kind of celebrate our LGBTQIA plus community. Um, you know, again, 
I, I can't stress enough the importance of having conversations with people who are not always like-minded. And I think, Danny, I hope that you can, you know, relate or agree with me on that. And you too, Frankie, you know, it's something that I've realized in radio, you know, talking to people about things that you're all comfortable with on a regular basis doesn't really move the needle when it comes to actual justice and equality and change, correct? 100%. Hundred percent. I mean, you got you got to have those difficult conversations from time to time, and you know, if you're if you're unsure of, you know, what pronouns to use or you know what sexual orientation someone is, don't be afraid to have that 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 challenging conversation with them. And I think you know, we we can all educate ourselves more on these topics, and the more that we we learn from one another, the more united our community is going to be, not only as allies, but members of the LGBTQ plus community. And you know what else? I think that sports, music, and fitness are probably the true equalizers. And by that, I mean, I think to Coach Frankie's point, I think you've already mentioned it, Danny, when you're sweating next to somebody, do you care who they love, like who they go home and love? You know what I'm saying? Like, you found a common bond when you're in a marathon with somebody, it's you yourself and, and the other people running around you. And you're all kind of have a, have a similar goal in hand. Would you say Frankie, especially to you, because let's be very clear here. And I'm not trying to have a, a controversial conversation by any stretch of the imagination because we're, we're celebrating right now, but you know, Miami as diverse as it is, you know, we have our hiccups along the way sometimes, and we're not always the most open minded place on the planet. Coach Frankie, would you say that you've seen people open their eyes and become more accepting of their fellow Miamians through running, through dialogue, through joining a club where they find out, hey, I'm not so different from this person. You know, they may, they may love, you know, they may be a member of the LGBTQ plus community, but but that doesn't make them any different from me. Have you seen things like that happen where people are able to overcome differences, you know, just based off of their common love of running? Absolutely. Like our, our, um, we, we haven't, we haven't been in session for a little bit due to obvious reasons these yeah. days, but our, our run clubs, uh, sponsored, uh, by Baptist health and, and Nike that we've had now for better part of the last 10 years are, are the perfect example of people just getting along for a common hour um, mm -hmm. headed in the same direction. You see the success just by just, you, I sometimes just take, take a step back and I look at the crowd and I'm like, people aren't in their clicks. They're not in their, in their little, in their little um, groups. They're, they're mixing mm -hmm. and matching and, 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 and interacting with one another. Sure. At first it's hard and so forth, but, but I think um, we, we proved that, that running can bring people together and fitness brings people together and in a way that, that, um, you know, pretty much free of conflict. I'm sure there's some, there's some differences and so forth, but I think people have, again, when exposed to, um, you know, a diverse group of people, mm -hmm. like it has been at, at these run clubs, um, it just, it just moves, it moves the conversation in the, in the right direction. And it, and, and it's usually followed up by action. Like I see people walking, walking off and in, in group with groups of people they, they didn't come with. You know, yep. and and uh, and I think they, they go to dinner after and so forth. So I have seen that. I have seen those walls brought down by, um, as I like to say, you know, the the, the sweat, <laughs> the common sweat. Yeah, Danny, what about you? Do you have anything that kind of sticks out in your mind, a moment, or or possibly an interaction that you've had with somebody based in fitness that you know has helped change somebody's perspective on our LGBTQ plus community? I mean, I think for me, you know, um, as a fitness instructor in Miami, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've had parents come up to me and, and talk to me about their relationships with their kids and saying, mm -hmm. hey, my, my son or my, my daughter identifies as a member of the LGBTQ plus community. And, mm -hmm. you know, my role of being a member in our, in our South Florida fitness community is to be able to have that conversation and be an outlet, not only for individuals who may be questioning their sexual orientation, but for parents who are trying to, you know, um, wrap their heads around yeah. finding out that their, their child may be identifying in a certain mm -hmm. way, or even friends of, of these members. And I've had those, those, um, hard conversations. And, and I will say when I 
first kind of stepped into my role of a fitness instructor, Mm -hmm. I was a little nervous, uh, you know, if, if people would accept, um, you know, the side of me and, and I didn't really at first lead with it. And then Mm -hmm. what I realized was I wasn't being authentic and Frankie brought this up, you know, you, you've got to be your authentic self to make those lasting relationships. And, and, you know, I'm, 100% 100% here in this community as, as a, you know, an advocate and, and a support system for anyone that feels like they may need that. Yeah, so, oh, you're uh, going to make me cry. <laughs> Good God, what is happening right now? <laughs> Coach, go ahead. I know we've got to be closing out. I just want to, I don't want right? to forget our, I keep, I keep reminding no. ourselves that some people are out there sweating pretty hard and, um, and, uh, and I can hear them breathing out there. Um, you're you, doing know, you guys are, Yeah. You guys are doing amazing. Um, you know, thank yourselves and 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 definitely, um, you know, uh, give give yourself a lot of credit for um, today doing uh, something that's not just important for for you, but um, but uh, helping us build community and and bringing people together through um, Wow Pride, uh, sponsored by T-Mobile, and this this is our community uh, run. So um, you've got about. Uh, about, I'd say about a minute and a half or so here before you you come to a stop. Uh, like I said, I know there's some overachievers out there, which I, I root you all, but um, we're going to give you permission to slow down and come to a, to a stop in, in just a little bit. And that'll be followed up with a five minute cool down. You'll hear us kind of talk, talk a little more, but these five minutes of cooling down, I just want you to take it easy. Um, you know, a nice, uh, nice, easy jog. We go back to that jogging and maybe uh, the jogging turns into a brisk walk and eventually an easy one. And you'll uh, maybe do some, um, some light stretching on your own after more yoga like stretching, which I know, I know Danny knows uh, a lot about that. And, um, and that's basically, uh, you know, that, that'll, that'll uh, end us up, but uh, I know we're going to end up pretty strong here. Kimmy, you want to, you want to add something before, um, before we head for that, that cool down? Well, I was just going to obviously coach you're in the community day in and day out, Frankie. I mean, Danny, you're also in our community uh, day in and day out to anybody listening right now. That's wondering how they can be, you know, a better ally to our LGBTQ plus community. What words do you have for them? Maybe what's something that you think people overlook or maybe just don't grasp that would be helpful in moving us forward. I think what I would say is, um, you know, listen and learn from the members of your community Mm -hmm. and, and don't, you know, be afraid to kind of, um, step up and support the community. Um, you know, show, show love for the LGBT community by, by doing these events as an ally, you're already engaging in such a meaningful way by being a part of this run, you know, as an ally, you're already engaging in the community in a supportive way and, you know, giving to, um, you know, groups like Miami Beach Pride who add additional resources for the LGBTQ plus mm-hmm. community is, is huge. Yeah, and I, I'll, t- I'll tag into that because I think oftentimes there's events in the community. There are, um, uh, you know, festivals and, and so forth for a particular community, whether, um, you know, whether it's the arts community or Mm -hmm. the running community or, you know, fitness community, you don't have to be necessarily um, inside of that community, you know, day in, day out to to actually show your support. Um, There's, there's ways to to support um, uh, outside of the actual festival or event or, or, um, or, or in this case, Miami Beach Pride, um, you know, you, you definitely have uh, ways, one way is actually registering for today's yep. um, event, which is <laughs> which is basically pretty easy to do. So make sure you visit the website. Um, and that, that just, you know, you the, the community itself um, looks to their left and right and front and behind, and they kind of say, all right, there's others behind us. There's others helping us push this, mm-hmm. this, um, this celebration forward. So you um, got to remind yourselves of that. All right, guys, slow it down a little bit and um, keep, come come uh, to that complete stop. I'd like to usually make sure I stop. I hit my, I click my watch. Um, don't don't be too concerned with today's pace, but maybe just remember you 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 made yourself better today with at least twenty minutes of running plus that five minute jog and another five minute cool down. So thirty minutes today you dedicated to yourself and to your community, and we thank you and and celebrate you for doing that. So. Um, after you've done that, and if you've got your water bottle nearby, um, hopefully it's a reusable one, 
you uh, take a take a drink from that and um, and start that cool down uh, nice and easy. Hopefully it's a shaded area. Um, this is where your breathing hopefully comes back to um, to uh, an easy, easy pace and uh, easy rhythm and do this for about five minutes. Um, as you guys are doing this, um, this cool down, um, you know, I definitely want to thank Mind Body Social for bringing us all together. Again, we've done this, uh, we did this uh, a few, few months back and it was, uh, it was quite the success. I know I heard a lot about, um, about folks taking part in it and, and this, this new, new concept basically that, that has become, uh, you know, a great motivator for some to, to, to move mm -hmm. and sweat and, and socialize and connect with their community. So big thanks to Mind Body Social, Jose Antonio and, and Luis and, and the whole team over at Mind Body Social. You guys are amazing. And, uh, and here you guys have joined in with an amazing cause and brought some amazing people together, you know, Danny and, uh, and Kimmy B. So I thank you guys both. Also want to recognize our sponsors. Um, you know, I got Baptist Health to thank constantly. Baptist Health is a big part of the running community and certainly a big part of what Mind Body Social does through things such as Wow Pride, sponsored by T-Mobile. Then we have Florida Blue. Can't, uh, you know, can't, um, can't say that they're, they're, um, you know, missing from, from too many big events. So the fact that they're, they're behind this one uh, doesn't surprise me. They're great to our community. So thank you, Florida Blue and Nike Miami, which uh, being a Nike Run Club hey! coach, um, you know, <laughs> I miss our Run Club. But, uh, but this, um, this certainly um, is an event that we've been able to partner with, uh, uh, with them. And then Michelob Ultra. Michelob Ultra is also a, a, a longtime partner of um, – Wow, and um, and and my body social. So, Michael of Ultra, uh, big shout out to you all and Team Ultra three three oh five, which I know Danny knows a little bit about. Uh, has been uh, a lot of fun to to see what Michael of Ultra has done there. So, Kimmy B, anybody else you you need to to thank? Well, out first there? of all, you coach you again, the Chief Wellness Officer of the City of Miami. It is always an honor to be teamed up with you, Danny Delarco. You are spectacular please give out your social media information and let anybody listening right now know how they can follow you and where they can find you uh for your phenomenal fitness instruction yeah such a such a pleasure to be on this run with you guys and you guys can follow me over at danny delarco uh or over at echelon fit perfection and definitely hit that follow button and check out her link tree i saw it it's spectacular and do the same for coach frankie because he's the ultimate motivator and again Amazing run. So proud of all of you. You ran for me. So thank you. Um, and now a very special moment that we've all been waiting for. Grab your favorite Kettle One Botanical Vodka Spritz flavor. Chill it, open it, and enjoy it with pride, of course. And make sure, please, 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 we cannot stress this enough. Make sure to register at wowmbs.com slash pride so that we know you joined us in this Spritz O'Clock happy hour and because Mind Body Social will make a donation to Miami Beach Pride for each person that registers. So again, tell your friends, tell your family, tell everybody, wowmbs.com slash pride. Sorry, Mind Body Social, we taking all your money, okay? Because it's for a good cause. Uh, also, we deserve it, we earned it, and we have many reasons to celebrate not just this calorie burn and our health, but this incredible LGBTQ plus community here. So again, thank you, T-Mobile. Thank you, Kettle One Botanical. Thank you, Mind Body Social. And thank you all for joining me today. Cheers. Per 12 flat ounce, 73 calories, zero grams of carbs, zero grams of protein, zero grams of fat. For those 21 plus only, please drink responsibly. Kettle One Botanical Vodka Spritz, made with vodka, botanicals, natural flavors, and sparkling water. 3.6% alcohol by volume. Copyright Double Eagle Brands, BV, Kettle One Botanical Spritz, Indianapolis, Indiana. The next time, KBB, we're going to run as fast as you talk. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the, the next workout. <laughs> but, uh, but no, guys, uh, you, you, that was awesome, KBB. Um, you guys need to uh, kind of come to a stop. Uh, hopefully, you've, you've done that cool down. We've completed our full 30 minutes worth of, of running. Um, like I said, five minutes of maybe some static uh, holds here. So uh, focusing on maybe your, your quads or anything else that you think is a a little, a little sore. Um, you know, the jury's still out on whether or not this does prevent injury, but I've been doing it for a long time and stretching <laughs> after runs, uh, just, um, I, I'm the proof, um, that I've, I've been running for all these years and, and injuries been, been limited. So, um, do that. And tomorrow your body will thank you usually for uh, the stretch, the five minutes you spend, um, loosening up a little more. Um, uh, but, um, but again, uh, thank you all for, um, 
for joining us today and uh, and sweating with us and supporting uh, Wow Pride, sponsored by T-Mobile. We look forward to uh, to seeing you at our, our next uh, or having you at. I don't know if I can see you, but having you at our at our next event and check our website for um, for more info on that and register. And thank you, everybody. Thank you, Danny. Thank you, Kimmy. Thank Jean. you. See you at the thank next one. Thank you. Happy Pride, everyone. Yes, happy Pride. Thank you.